Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how to use a mass injection file task in Informatica Cloud. So for that, um, already I have connected to ICS. Let me go to mass injection. Click on mass injection. <coughs> then we'll go to new. Uh, these are the three types of mass, in mass injection tasks available. So in my case, uh, now I will use file injection task. Click on that. Provide a name. Mass ingest file task local to GCS. So in my case, I will um, ingest the file from local system to Google Cloud Storage. So provide a name, then select the runtime environment. <coughs> Click on next. Here I have to select the connection type and connection. So there are two options source connection or file listener. If you have a file listener already created, you can use that here. So now I'll use the source connection. So connection will be a local folder as I am going to ingest the files from local to GCS and you can see there are multiple other connections also available you can use this FTP uh, or you can ingest one on S3 or uh, this uh, data lake storage cloud storage that also you can use file pickup I have to use by pattern then I need to select the directory in my case uh, I have get my files in D Runjan Learning Informatica Cloud Files and the file pattern. <clears throat> Let me go to the source directory. Here, my files are present. If you see aggregated customer, if I want all my file to be ingested, I have to use star. <coughs> uh, otherwise, uh, if I want a pattern, like I want to ingest only employee, so I can use EMP star. So that all files related to which starts with EMP will be copied. Otherwise, if I want to ingest only few files with um, a specific name, like uh, I want only streaming. So in that case, I will mention star, str, then star. So, so that file will be ingested. Or I want this file where this uh, handling is there in between. Then what I'll use star H A N D star. So in this way the files will be ingested. So currently I'll use star. I want all my files to be <coughs> ingested. File date and file size. Uh, let's keep it uh, as it is. Uh, then batch size let it be five. Then uh, this option after the file pickup. What I want to do. Uh, whether you want to keep the file, delete the file, rename the file or archive. In my case, uh, currently I will use archive. If you are select archive, then you have to provide the path. Uh, so I have created a folder in the informatic cloud archive. So let me go to that. I have created a, a folder archive. So once the file ingestion uh, ingests the files, uh, the files will be copied to this archive folder. A more source directory then uh, go to next in this case i have to select the target so i have created a gc x connection google cloud storage v2 <coughs> select the connection this is my gcs google cloud storage bucket um, this is the bucket name and folder name inside that. Let me go to uh, GCS here. You can see this is the bucket and uh, this is the directory. One file is there, so let me delete that. Okay. Then now it's getting deleted. Okay, so refresh that we can see no files present here. <clears throat> okay, so here there are a few options. 
file compression. If you want to compress the file, you can use uh, gzip so the files will be compressed. Uh, then if file exists, if the same file is existing, so what exactly you can do? Either you can overwrite or append timestamp. So in my example, I will uh, overwrite. So let me select that. Then go to next. Here file processing, we are not going to do anything here now. Let me go to the next step. That is the runtime option. Uh, here you can, um, uh, whether if you want to use a scheduler and uh, schedule the job, you can use here. Or if you want uh, that job to run when the file is present uh, using a file listener, that also you can select here. In my case, now I will use do not run this task on schedule because I will do I will run this on an ad hoc basis. Uh, then next option is send not notification on failure. That also you can use if you, if you want a notification or email notification when the job fails. Then provide your email IDs so that you will get a notification. Uh, then this uh, log level normal let it be like this. Then go to save. Uh, next thing is I will run the task. Now we'll go to my job. You can see it is up and running. So let it run. Okay, one more thing I just wanted to tell. Um, <clears throat> if you want to see what all source and target systems are available that uh, you can get, you go to online help in the right side, uh, it is present. Click on that. You can see for file injection, uh, mass injection files, uh, what are the source types are allowed that you can see from the list, like local folder, advanced FTP. Amazon S3, Google Storage, uh, then uh, ADLS, so then file listener. These are the source types and the target. You can see these are the target like local folder, then um, AWS S3, Redshift, BigQuery, uh, data lake, ADLS, Synapse, Snowflake, Databricks, Delta. These are the uh, target systems which can be allowed. Okay, now go to my task. Let's see what is the status of that. We can see it is completed and click on the instance name. Yeah, all files have been uh, complete. <coughs> now go to uh, this bucket, uh, refresh this one. Yeah, you can see all files have been uh, ingested here, copied to the uh, uh, Google Cloud Storage. That is one thing. Uh, next thing we'll see uh, whether the files have been copied to the archive folder. You can see here, yeah. So this is our source uh, files where they are previously before I ran the task. Once the job completed, all files have been moved to the archive folder. You can see here. All files have been moved to the archive. So in this way, the file injection uh, uh, task works. Thank you.